we got from Madison. Our old baseball faces. Oh, yeah. yeah. He was clearing out, or his parents were doing something, cleaning out his house, and he found it. And we went there to pick him up. And I was like, this is ugly. Can we take it? <laughs> it looks pretty creepy. <laughs> he's, a, he's a golf golfer. Yeah, or something. he's a golfer, and we just keep our like, various like things in his arms. His uh, golf caddy thing looks like quite like a penis. <laughs> oh, I, I won't zoom in on that. <laughs> keep this G-rated. <laughs> together in its current configuration? Uh, if we count him, two weeks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we don't know if I can count. Um, we don't know if I count yet. Us three, about a year and a half. And then those two, uh, two years. Yeah, we, we started the band with one other guy. And uh, he just got sick of it, so he was like, I'm done. And he's out. So where did your, where'd your other bass player head to? Uh, was it an amicable and breakup? And one of them went to San Francisco. He went to film school, and 
yeah, it's still we're still on good terms with all of our bass players. Actually, we've had I think three in the band pretty much permanently. Yeah, left, and then so. numerous people just come and play bass for us. Um, let's see, yeah, the second one. He got sick of our music and he left. <laughs> um, I haven't seen him in a while. I assume we're still friends though. Um, <laughs> and then, third one. When you're at Walmart, do you like avoid each other? Oh, he's in that aisle. Oh gosh. Um, yeah. He's gonna watch this and be like, no, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, the yeah, he'll make a comment under in the YouTube comments. <laughs> we're not friends anymore. Um, third one, he got caught up with school and just couldn't handle playing anymore. Actually we've got a good backlog of songs that haven't been recorded, but we just, we're just working on new stuff because this is a completely different band than who what recorded for like the, the old EP we had. So now it's just kind of trying to reconfigure. We're still getting adjusted to being this instead of uh, five people. It's, it's now four. That's right. So, yeah, because we used to have a second guitarist who did a lot. So made me step up. Actually, all of us had to step up a lot. Yeah. <laughs> she had to sing. I had to play more on guitar. I don't know. We made it work, though. Yeah, Jared was really good. I like the interplay between you guys and the sound yeah. of two leads going on. Yeah. And <laughs> May his body be remembered. Yeah. <laughs> R.I.P. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and where, where did he head off to? Uh, he also had... He got kind of over our music, but he also just got really caught up with school. He's yeah. gone off to grad school. Yeah. He's in good health. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's I dinner commendable. With, I, I did dinner with him last week. He's doing good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I miss him though. There was like a solid month where I asked him on a daily basis to come back. He just never did. Really? <laughs> Maybe it was a solid month. It was like a week. That's <laughs> 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 so I get too just. A slight exaggeration. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it felt like a solid month. Yeah. <laughs> a week that felt like a solid month. Yeah. Exactly. Or that maybe sense. a day that felt like a week that felt like a solid month. <laughs> Since then, though, since he hasn't been in the band, it's kind of freed us to do just kind of, I feel like we do a lot different stuff, we've changed a lot in our sound, because he kind of had a certain style that we worked with and we all liked, but uh, since then, since he wasn't there to, for us to really go with that, we had to reconfigure and so the style-wise, style I feel like we draw from like more of a particular influence than like particular influences than we did before.
How do you, what's your process on how you guys write? Do you write all together? Oh, does one yes. person come in with an idea and, or does one person come in with a complete song and go? Oh no, we could never just, oh, I got a song, let's do this. Like it takes us, I feel like months to write songs. It's really sporadic. We, uh, Jeremy will usually, or Megan will come in with a riff and then we'll all work on it from there. It's like really sporadic uh, and it takes long, so we're really picky, so. Yeah. <laughs> we have a very sharp editing system. But yeah. so you're really writing as a band though, that's cool. Yeah. You're not, yeah. one person isn't coming in with a, yeah. a framework or anything. No. Yeah. I mean, I'll have ideas, but then I know I can't get too attached to something because by the end of it, it's not going to sound even remotely how I s originally saw it. Like it'll change and it'll, you'll add his thing, like, oh, let's run with that instead <laughs> of like doing that. Or she'll come up with something like, oh, that's awesome. Let's put that in the middle here. And then like, yeah. I don't know, it, 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 I can never just plan on, oh, I've, this is all we've got, like, I came in with the whole song, none of us could do that. So, from what I'm hearing, probably most commonly the music is written before the lyrics, and then you add the yeah, lyrics? Yeah, yeah. I'm not too big on lyrics. I write them a lot, but, uh, I don't know, I kind of hide behind the loud noise, and the big drums, and the distorted guitars and stuff. <laughs> and, so are you the main lyricist then? Yeah. I, I'm or, or the I, yeah, no, no one else. The only yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No one else likes taking that job, right. so it's kind of all put on me. Um, I yeah. can do that. <laughs> There's a few songs where Jeremy will sing something, and you cannot make, you can't make out a single word. What is it? Like if you heard Day Glow, the second verse. There's just. Like, I don't even know what that is. I can't find a single word. I'm pretty sure it says Brown Town one more time. Brown Town. <laughs> Brown's Town by Karen Head shaving. Head shaving There's no head shaving in my songs. No, head shaving Brown Town. It's head. like... Head shaving Brown Town. It's a... Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I love that song, by the way. That song moves. I mean, that's... Yeah, that's, that's a, a yeah we always talk about... I think that one exemplifies all the elements we want of canyons. Like, mm -hmm. The, if you think about it, it starts off like slow, uh, and it builds up a lot, it keeps the energy, and there's the pretty choruses, which is really cool. So I think, uh, that's that, if I had to pick one song to show anyone that hadn't heard us, I'd pick that one, I think. And you got the little rim shot things going there, oh, that, that yeah. says hello. Thank you. Um, yeah. It kind of... Yeah. Yeah, it's a bipolar song. Yeah. It's totally bipolar. <laughs> but it goes in reverse of how I feel like most songs are. Most songs it's like, oh, verses are quiet, intros are loud, and, and then the choruses are like big, and then our song is like, oh, let's get crazy on the choruses. Oh, yeah. Let's just kind of chill and relax and reflect on what we did during yeah. the day. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah.